Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to take you through my rating system and why I rate books the way that I do. I think everyone's rating is different and a five star read for me could be a one star read for somebody else. I think everyone's opinions are their opinions, they're entitled to them and I would never ever kind of judge somebody based on how they rate their books. This is just personally how I rate my books. What I find enjoyable or what I find to be an amazing read, somebody else may absolutely hate and that is perfectly okay. I would never force somebody to like a book or force somebody to change the way that they think about a book just because it's different to my opinion. With that, let's get started. I do actually have my rating system written down in my book journal just so that I can kind of reference it when I'm stuck or not sure on what I really do think about the book. So starting with one star reads, most of my one star reads and I don't think I've ever really rated anything one star, I don't remember doing it. These are books that I really, really just didn't enjoy, but I finished. If I DNF a book, then I will, if I'm like certain of the way through, if I've read like two pages and I DNF it, then I'm just not gonna put it on my Goodreads. But if I'm like over 50% of the way through, I'm putting that towards my Goodreads goal and I just don't give that a star rating. So if I DNF, it doesn't get a star rating. If I rate something one star, then I absolutely hated it, but I finished it. And that's the kind of difference between a DNF and a one star is a DNF. I hated it enough to not want to read it. I'm not hated it, just didn't enjoy it as much to not want to read it. Whereas a one star, I forced myself to finish it, but I really, really just did not enjoy it at all. A two star read then is on a similar sort of plane to a one star. It's a book that I didn't enjoy, but I finished it. It wasn't kind of a, a forceful finish. I just finished it. It was something I didn't enjoy, I would never read again, I would never recommend, didn't click, it just, I didn't like it. That's a two star read for me. A three star read then for me is a book that was neither here nor there. It's not anything that I would pick up again, it's not anything I would recommend, but it was okay enough that I finished it. Not something that I had to force myself to finish, but it's also not something that I was like eager to binge or something that I couldn't stop thinking about to the point where I had to keep reading. Examples of this for me are Misfit by L. Kennedy. That's a recent three star read for me. I, it just didn't hit the mark. And I think I went into it with expectations because it is L. Kennedy and it just didn't meet those expectations for me. The twists and then the kind of drama and everything that the people went through, it just wasn't it. Um, so that was a three star for me purely because I just, it was just a meh book. Yeah, it's not something that I'm gonna think about again. It's not something that I'm gonna wanna reread. It's just a meh book. That's what a three star is for me. Going on to a four star then. These are books that I absolutely loved and enjoyed reading, enjoyed the whole experience of reading the book. I wanted to carry on reading. I felt motivated to carry on finishing the book. There was just something missing and I can't really explain what that is. I think people who rate books will kind of understand what that something is that makes it a difference between stars. A four star for me is just, it was a really, really, really good book. Just not amazing. <laughs> I hope that makes complete sense to all of you. It's a book that I would read again, but I'm not jumping to read it again. And it's something that if somebody wanted a certain kind of genre of book or something specific, then I would think of that one. It, but it's just not a five star, absolutely adored, loved every second of it kind of book, if that makes sense. So for example, I love this series, but Guild is a three star. It was okay, pacing was very slow, it's a slow burn, but the whole series is a slow burn. I d almost didn't read the rest of the series because of the first one, so this is a three star. And then Glint is a four star because I really, really enjoyed it and it picked up and there was more to it. The slow burn was still there, but a lot more happened and I felt more inclined to read it. So that would be a four star. And then I believe I've rated Gleam and Glow both five stars. There's just something in them that was more addictive almost and I really enjoyed them. So that's an example of kind of my rating in the, the different kind of books. So a four star is just, there's just something. <laughs> and then a five star read is a book that I absolutely adored. 
could not put the book down, had to binge it, cried, felt every single emotion, went on the whole roller coaster of the book and everything. That is a five star read to me. It is not perfection because I think there's books that I've rated five stars that aren't perfect, that aren't the most amazing book, but I personally had a really good time reading them. And I think that's important for me and especially for I think people who read a lot to remember is that you can rate a book five stars even if it wasn't the most literary amazing book and it wasn't like full of mind like blowing and impactful things to me a book is five stars if I personally enjoyed reading it and that could mean that somebody who rated a book one star just because the book wasn't like all like groundbreaking and amazing it was just a really frivolous read and all that kind of thing I still enjoyed reading it and if I enjoy reading a book and I had a really good time then I'm gonna give it five stars because I spend my money on books and I spend my time reading to enjoy it and a five star read to me is something that I enjoy so <laughs> the difference in my five star ratings can be a little bit kind of well how the hell have you rated that five stars but also that five stars and it just depends what mood I'm in for one. If I'm in the mood for just a load of smut and a good laugh and some cheesy romance, but then the next month I'm in the mood for some high fantasy and wanting this whole world and to be part of this epic thing, both of those can be five stars. They're just completely different moods that I'm in. So I think that's really important for me when I'm rating is, did I enjoy this book? Did I really, really kind of get into it and feel every kind of thing that these people were going through? And if I did and I would recommend it, that's another big thing. Would I recommend it to somebody? And would I reread it? Then it's a five star in my eyes. Examples of my five stars. Twisted Love, I think I gave that a three. Almost didn't read the rest of the series. Twisted Games is a five stars. Twisted Hate is a four. Twisted Lies is a five stars to me. I prefer Twisted Lies and Twisted Games. I don't know why. Twisted Love, I did not enjoy this book at all. Didn't understand why people were so obsessed with it until I read the rest of the series. So then Twisted Lies, I absolutely loved that and I had such a good time reading that. So that was a five stars. Same with, this is one that I've seen quite a lot of people rate like one or two stars and I'm like, oh, did I do something wrong? <laughs> My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. I ate this up and I really, really enjoyed it. I think I rated this five stars. I think I did. And I was in the mood, I think when I read this for just some cheesy smutty just quick read romance and that's what this delivered so for me it wasn't like the most epic book it wasn't the most amazing literary piece of fiction that i've ever read but it was a five star nonetheless because it delivered what i wanted when i read it so that is today's video really short really sweet i just wanted to kind of have somewhere that people can refer back to my rating system if you ever see like on my goodreads or on instagram that i've rated a book a certain way and you think well why why on earth have you rated it that i hope that kind of explains it a little bit more thank you so much for watching today's video i know it was a really really short one if you disagree with any of my kind of opinions or any of my thoughts let me know in the comments below because i'd love to hear how you guys rate books or how you judge them just because i think everybody's is different and it would just be kind of cool to see how everybody else rates books on that note, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.